the other day, and there's some really funny stuff. <laughs> On that what did you do? Job. What are you, well, you gonna have to explain to anybody what did you do? I do know that I did set a teddy bear on fire. <laughs> um, yeah, don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> you just have to watch. You've got a good history though with your video. <laughs> when you guys did Small Town Throwdown, that was you fun. and Justin, you guys had a great time with that video too. Yeah, we did. That was a trip. I want to know how often in that video Justin had to stand on phone books though. Oh, that's cool, man. That's my boy. He's my boy, too. But let's be honest with you and TR. Let's be honest about it. And so, the guys, there's no way you're all at eye level. And I'd say that if Justin was sitting right next to you. Uh, man, I didn't sit Look in the phone you. book. You are trying to be nice right now. You're yeah. like, I'm not going to bust out Justin. I'm yeah, and you talking bad about my boy, and I'm still being nice. No, see, here's the thing. I love Justin. He's more your boy than he is mine. And he's backtracking, man. I'm backtracking. <laughs> Well, can't thank you enough for all the time. <laughs> so nice. <and> <laughs> all right. Well, let's talk about let's talk about real life. We know Bradley Gilbert the music. We've seen you on stage. We know Stone Cold Sober. Now that you've got a little bit of time, we're going to the holidays. What do you like to do to unwind when you're off the road? You're hanging out at the house. What's your thing to do? Like, what's your go-to? Man. These people behind me, I'll tell you, if it's off season, I'm blowing them up trying to figure out what I can do. I just, I kind of, I like to work. It keeps me busy. And, You're restless? Oh, bad. Bad. I mean, I've spent the past several years of my life just 90 miles an hour on the road, different place all the time. So being home is, uh, you know, I'm adjusting to it. It's, you know, the wife's turning the house into a home now. So it's, she uh, nesting? Is that what she's doing? Oh, yeah, she's nesting. It's, Big ass nest. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Well, here, here's the follow up question of that. The wife is starting to nest. Does that mean that the next step after that might be little uh, chicklets around the house? She's not pregnant. No, that's what you get. Well, I just uh, well look. I know that women think about that stuff and we don't until they tell us. And we go, oh really? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> no, I'm is that something you guys are looking forward to soon? Are you talking about it? You know, I think. When the time is right, we, we've discussed it. It's definitely something we both want. I yeah. think, you know, we just want to make sure the time is right. right. Well, when you hear the word nesting, and I use that word, so I set it up, I guess. But when you hear that, you just wonder, you know. <laughs> All right, you ready to do some rapid-fire questions? Yeah, man. Sure, All right, man. we're going to go ahead and dig in. Don't think, just answer. Best way to do it. Every time it's on TV, even though it's annoying with the commercials when you see movies on TV, what is the one movie you'll always stop and watch no matter what? Rocky. Oh, the original? Rambo, yeah. Rambo's good. You're a sly guy, aren't you? Yeah, man. Sylvester Stallone, did you see that he's coming out with a new movie? No, I kind didn't. Of, it's a spinoff on Rocky called Creed, where I think he's training Apollo Creed's son. Really? Yeah, so it's coming There's out. There's another Rocky movie. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, it's like Rocky 17 at this point, I think is what oh, it is. Oh, my God. Man, he's still jacked, though. How old is he now? <clears throat> 104. Yeah, and he's That's still... That's impressive. He's like Moses. He is. <laughs> I think in the next movie after Creed, he's going to part the Red Sea. Is he really? Yes. I think it's called Moses. It's coming through. All right, when you're on the road and you stop at those big truck stops, I got everything from the showers to the microwaves, you know. What's the one thing you have to buy to eat when you're on the road? Is there a guilty food? Oh, I thought you just to say what you have to buy. That's like everything in there. I'm a sucker for those stores. They always got little cheap knives in there. Little knickknacks and stuff? Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely dangerous in those places. Plus, they get, if they got those deer hunter video games in the back, I'll be in there for four With the orange rifle? That's yeah, right. Absolutely. Talk about later. Real. Why don't they take debit cards on games like that? Because it's like two bucks to play. It's like, man, I want to go back up and get another, you know, 18 quarters. You're on the something. I'm telling you, they need a card swiper on there. I agree. Your wife would have your card cut off on your next road trip. Yes, she would. Yeah, be like... Bradley, how did you spend $114 on the Deer Hunter 2 game? That's right, because it was the Deer Hunter 2015, and there were new graphics. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had the 18-point buck in this one. You don't understand. That's right. I had to kill him. It took me like 17 levels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we know you're a gun guy. You're a big fan. What is your all-time favorite firearm? Um, I just got a 300 Blackout. It's, uh, it's a little handheld deal. It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool gun. Right. I'll try to explain it to you. People are going to think, you know, bad because you just got to see it to understand it. But it's awesome. We have a lot of fun shooting it. It doesn't cost a whole bunch to shoot, so we can throw a bunch of bullets down range. There you go. Blow some stuff up. That's always a good time. When things always. explode and blow up, 
it, you can't help but have a good time. Yeah, man, for my bachelor party, like that, you know, we and we didn't really go out and get crazy or nothing. I just took all the guys to my farm in Alabama, and we shot propane tanks for like six hours. <laughs> that was awesome. How high in the air does a propane tank get when you hit well, that? Well, I'm about 45 feet. It hit. We, we put it, well, we figured out to get it to blow up, you actually got to add a flame to it. So what I did was I duct taped. Uh, well, first of all, we threw it in the fire. We're burning some stuff at the farm. Wait, you threw a propane tank in the fire? Oh, yeah. I'm coming to your house. Well, it's actually, we set it a little bit in front of it. We threw it in there first time. It didn't work real good. So we set it in front of it, and I duct taped two of the two-pound uh, tannerite boxes to the front of it, and I shot through the tannerite into the propane. It was bad. <laughs> it was it threw sparks for like, yeah, I think they saw it in the next county. Yeah, I have a feeling that there was probably some UFO sightings called into the local sheriff. No, I did get to meet the little local sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that happened. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. He's a nice fella. All right, Brantley, last question. A TV show everybody raves about, but you either don't have the time nor the interest to watch it. What's the one show that you hear everyone talking about? You're like, what? Is that Kardashian, maybe? Yeah, I don't watch much of that one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you'd have much in common. No, I'm be honest with you. I don't think they'd appreciate, you know, the bombs bursting in air, you know, off the Gilbert farm with the propane tanks. Good gosh, it's a torch paint What more can you ask for? I'm with you. Look, you and I, same page, man. There you go. But I like right. Stone Cold Sober, Brantley Gilbert here with us. Thanks for stopping by and spending a little time. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me. It's Music Row Live in Nashville with Sunfire.